All right, guys. So today, we're gonna be working on my little my little boy's car. I mean, he's not little. He's pretty pretty big. Yeah, he's pretty big. Uh, this is Jerry, but and that's my truck. It's just badass. But anyways, we're gonna be working on my boy's car. It's the little hatch over here. He he wants to be like me one day. So um, we're in the process of getting this car swapped. It has a single cam right now, so he wants more power. He can't handle it, but we'll see. But anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna be in the process of doing the swap. I wanna show you guys, I wanna show you guys how, how you guys do it. It's pretty easy. Um, but also, we're trying to get ready for BART. So this could be legal in California, especially in Modesto, which is ghetto AF. So let's get this. All right, so this is W20. Uh, this is I, I believe this is a 98 low comp, but we're gonna do timing belt, water pump, and we're gonna install an OBD2 oil pump because this is OBD1 oil pump. All I'm pretty sure all B20s come up, uh, from Japan is an OBD1, so everything's gonna be replaced because we're gonna need a crank crankshaft sensor to be installed on this. So let's do this. This guy's too fat, bro. All right, go fuck him. Go fuck anything up. All right, let him, let him go down. All right. Let me know when you got your energy. Good guy, you got it. I know. One, two, three. Is that funny? Okay. Okay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Alright, be good. Be good. Fucking idiot. Oh, oh. my. <laughs> Bro, chill. Bro, is this bag even ripped? I don't know. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. He freaking dropped the bolt in the funnel. <laughs> hey, the hole's good. Fuck, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, now you got a fucking big ass mess you got clean. All right, so now I'm gonna take out the timing covers. So. And then I'm gonna take the uh, bottom covers off. There's one, one, two, and three. Three bolts. There you guys have it. Try me. All right, guys. So everything is top dead center, up, up, and then this is in there. An arrow. So everything's good. So the way how I lock up the the cams are, you see these little things right here. I'll put like something in it. And they all just lock up. That's it. What the fuck is that? Why is it orange? What is that? Cool it. The oil pinball cleaned up. So now we're gonna install 
our new water pump. Hey, fat boy. Hey, can, can you open this up for me? All right, so let's see our new water pump. Gates, yeah, let's do that. If you guys can't see it, focus. All right, it's gates, whatever. But yeah, we got new tensioner, we got the focus. We got the new, uh, everything's new. So everything will be reliable. Um, we never done this before, right? Never. Yeah, so you guys are learning with us. What's that, baby? Yep. Okay, so we're using some Permatex uh, water pump thermostat housing gasket maker. Come on, focus. Ah, right, whatever. I'm just gonna put a lot on it. I usually just do the outside. I don't care about the gasket, I'll do the gasket too. All right, so this is the original B21, and this is the LS one that I got from Pick and Bowl today. And we're taking this one out because this one has a this one has a crank sensor that we could install. So these these two bolts will hold the crank sensor, and this don't. So we're trying to bar this B20. So we're gonna need a crank sensor, and I do not want to bypass it because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm not even gonna risk it, I'm just gonna put it in. And everything's already cleaned up. So we got the water pump, I'm just gonna put uh, the tensioner and then the oil pump. And then we're gonna put a new gasket on the oil pan and then we should be good. And also, when you swap from OBD1 to OBD2, you're gonna need the OBD2 sprocket. This is OBD1, this is OBD2. OBD2 has the, a bigger sprocket in the back to uh it's for the crank sensor so you're gonna need that also and uh this in front of it so it goes in like that and then you're gonna put your key in you're gonna have two one's gonna be for this sprocket and then one's gonna be for your um your crank pulley so, so that goes all the way in and it bolts up like that and then put them together should be good so that's how the crank sensor is all right guys so water pump is installed tensioner uh, oil pump uh crank a uh, crank uh socket whatever you guys want to call it and the crank sensor so now it's time to put some you know belt on and this, how, this is the way how I do it, right? So I start from the bottom. Start from the bottom, loop it around the tensioner. Make sure it's tight. And then loop it around your water pump. And then make sure it's tight. And then go over your first cam. And then go to your second cam. And that's it. And then I, I left. I left the spring loose, so I'll get like a flathead or whatever you guys want to use, and then just go around, and then do, and then just tighten this up. So it's kind of like slacky right now. This side's tight, this is a little bit tight, a little tight. So we gotta make this side tight. So the way how I would do that is like this spring's a little compressed. So I'll get my flathead and just move it up. I'll tighten this a little bit and then I'll just move it up and then move it all the way up. Leave it tight because it's pretty tight. Tight, 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 tight. So you, so this is pretty good. So I'll leave the tension there and I'll tighten it up. 
and voila, good. And that's how you do it. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of today's video. Uh, there's gonna be more to it. I'm gonna, you know, of course, I'm gonna try to go with details. I, <clears throat> I'm trying to make, I'm trying to not make the video so long because I feel like it's just too long. But let me know in the comments how you guys like this video, and yeah, we go from there. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.